guys how are you i'm so happy that you are here with me on my youtube channel with a new video it's been a while since i released a new video and that is because it was a christmas slash hanukkah vacation i was with my kids with my family we flew back home to my homeland to israel and really enjoyed our time together and now when we came back and I need to get back into my creative mode sometimes you can find it a bit well not overwhelming but you just sometimes you just feel a bit stuck so I want to share with you today what I do to get rid of this stuckness <laughs> if this is even a word so I'm gonna pick up some papers uh, without even thinking about it too much. Just things that speaks to me that I like. Okay. After I chose papers and uh, we're gonna do a fun collage with them and this process is very intuitive you don't need to think a lot you don't need to understand where you're going to just you just need to have some fun I will be using this soft matte gel and recently I think two videos ago I did a full tutorial about the different uses of medium gels and if you are interested just go back a few video videos and you can uh, see all the information and how to use it and what you can do with it uh, so yeah. So, what we have here is a fun collage. Uh, that for me even in this point makes me really happy so basically what I did here is two things the first one is in order not to end up with a patchy uh, collage I just applied a thin coat of gesso in between the papers and you can use your brush or your fingertips whatever suits you and and then the transitions between the pieces of papers are much more softer and they look just they look better and the, sec the second thing that I did is in certain points I covered the pattern not completely just a very thin coat and also I uh, I rubbed it so I will still see what the patterns but not as strong as it was at the beginning and it just gives a bit a softer look uh, to the to the to the project uh, for this part, I'm going to use uh, Finaber Impasto paints, which I absolutely love. And I may maybe I talked about it in some of my previous videos, but I will show you again. This this pa these acrylic paints are really heavy bodied, and 
it's it's very good because if it's heavy body you can control it and you can make it as thin as you want using other products like um, soft medium soft gel mediums even water to dilute them it depends what you want to achieve and if you want you can have a really um, creamy opaque color and if you use it as it is so first of all you don't really need to think too much you just apply the paint wherever you want you're using your fingertips just the way we used to do things where we were ki when we were kids and I feel like this 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 process is really open your creative uh, channels. Plus, I really I really love it when my hands are getting dirty. <laughs> I don't know why. And if in some point you want to bring back some of the gesso, you can also do that. Another thing that I want to tell you about these colors that I did not mention before is that these colors are all matte and obviously the gesso too. Uh, so because I want to do, because I want to use other products now like uh, uh, markers and colored pencils and we'll see, uh, then a matte coat beneath help it to not reject some of the product that a shiny, uh, glossy um, uh, per uh, surface would have. So, so this is the surface. It is completely dry and completely matte. And now we can just uh, have some fun with drawing. And let's see where this journey will take me. <laughs> I will be using the Prismacolor for my drawing. And this part, if you are using the Prismacolor on a paper, it is not erasable. I can show you here, for example, I will take a darker one. But when you are using it on a matte surface with acrylic paint, it is erasable, so you can feel free to do your mistakes. Now there are uh, many uh, tutorials on how to draw a face and this proportion is the basic one where you just divide the face into uh, two parts, exactly two parts and then exactly in the middle the, eyes, the eye goes and then in the middle of the lower part it's where you it's where the nose go and then you divide it again into two parts and this is where the mouth goes so this is the basic proportion i'm not going to uh, this is not a tutorial on, on how to draw a face if you want to catch and learn more about it you can just uh, find a tutorial about it and I really recommend Jane Davenport's she has a beautiful beautiful tutorials and also workshops and um, online workshops you can take um, so this is it I'm, I'm just gonna draw now and put some music on for you to enjoy
So now after I have all the first uh, details, only the eyes, nose, nose mouth, um, I can start with uh, with painting and distinguish distinguish my my face from the rest of the of the project. And I am using um, pastel palette by Jane Davenport. So uh, in this point, I after I have the basic uh, sketch and shading, I want to start giving this uh, face some volume, more volume and detail, and and to and in order to do that, I'm gonna use the Prima uh, Art Philosophy watercolor, this tin called Complexion and it has different flesh tones and skin tones I think with this uh, variety of colors you can you can basically create any skin tone that you want I will also be using the watercolor confetti set which I just which I just got in my DT box in my recent DT box. It's a beautiful, beautiful set with many different colors, and it comes with this cute little water brush. You just load it with water, and then you just you are good to go. <laughs> it's perfect for traveling also. Instead of just doing one eye at a time, I really recommend to work on both of them at the same time. Uh, and because I think that the main issue with the eyes is just to make them look the same, <laughs> symmetrical. And, and I think it would be much easier if you would just do it at the same time. Now, I don't really know why, but I have a very strong urge to color her eyes with pink because of all the pink I have here and it's like I want her to dream about this summer Hawaii vibe and I don't know, I'm gonna try 
and because it is a watercolor I can immediately erase it so let's see why not While the eyes are getting dry and before I will be adding more layers to them and the pupils and everything, I think it's a good time to start with the, with the hair. So at this point I feel that my lady here is almost finished and I know for sure that I will add more um, <clears throat> vibrance and more colors into the, uh, into the hair because I want to emphasize the movement a bit better but now I want to start playing with my embellishments you know that this is <laughs> one of my favorite parts this process is not that different than any other process of layering that you saw me doing before. I will just leave the music on so you could see what I'm doing. Uh, but basically it's just adding uh, flowers and embellishments and then some more flowers and maybe some more. <laughs>
that is it guys i want to thank you for joining me here today and i hope that you found my process helpful and if you did i would love to know so you can always leave me a comment below and if you are enjoying my tutorials you are absolutely more than welcome to subscribe and that's it for today guys and i will see you again on my next video bye bye